I'm Kate, and this is Curtis. This is our moving home sweet Ruka. One year ago, we quit our jobs, bought a boat, and plan on sailing around the world without going through the canal. You heard me right, Cape Horn and the Cape of Good Hope. Click subscribe and come along for the ride. We relaunched the boat in Annapolis and headed out of the Chesapeake Bay on a rainy, cold November day bound straight for the Bahamas. We were ready for the warm weather, but first we had to make it around the infamous Cape Hatteras. Ooh, it's a bit rolly pole. Grab the eggs, grab the eggs. However, as you'll see, things did not go according to plan. We raise our sails and take off towards the Gulf Stream, expecting 30 knot winds. And for us, the unknown open waters of the Atlantic Ocean. We are about two miles away. from the uh, uh, outer shoal buoy. And once we're around that, we can turn up about 20 degrees, and then we are uh, officially around Kate. Kate's downstairs, taking a little nap. Roxy's also downstairs. The wave state is uh, its pretty tossed up. Uh, every once in a while, we'll kind of drop. There'll be some steep ones. We'll kind of drop off them a little bit. I'm expecting it to get a little worse as we get a little bit closer. So there's supposed to be a buoy out here, but I cannot see it on the radar. So uh, it could be just because of the wave state. It's not picking up on the radar, but I would think it would pick up every once in a while. So we're going to take a closer look here. So because I can't see that on the radar, I'm going to give it a wide berth. and. Uh, We'll update you when we actually go around. All right, well, that is it. We are officially around Cape Hatteras. It wasn't too bad. I could imagine uh, if it was really, really gnarly, it could be pretty crazy. But uh, there was definitely some confused waves and uh, bigger than normal waves. Uh, we had some waves come over the Dodger. It took a little while to turn the corner because of the current. It kind of confuses you a little bit and starts to push you sideways and away from the mark. We did find the buoy. Uh, we ended up finding them on radar. It's right there. If you guys can see that. Um, and that's where we went around. Where we are in the world, about right there. Conditions aren't too bad. Uh, wind speed's about 13, 14 knots, maybe gusting to 16 or 17 at times. Uh, we had really good breeze to carry us all the way down here. Um, and then obviously really good breeze to carry us uh, up alongside the Gulf Stream current. So we definitely want some breeze to get across the Gulf Stream before it kind of fizzles out uh, for a little bit and goes a little bit light. That's it, good morning, it's about uh, 2 o'clock, and we've just passed Cape Hatteras. <laughs> See what Kate thinks. We're around, Kate! Yay! Yay! Roxy likes it. Roxy says, yay! Now, Roxy doesn't like the banging. <laughs> She's a good sailing dog, she doesn't like to go upwind. <laughs> what do you think? Our first bow dolphins! <laughs> he was having fun! First ocean sunset. Like, real ocean sunset out in the ocean. Off in the That's in the west, so that's... That's where 
land is, huh? So that means that we are headed south, which is good, right? Yay. And there is no one around. And Roxy's happy. Roxy peed today on the boat, which is a huge, huge thing. Don't mind us just catching our first fish five minutes after putting it in. You got it, babe. You got it. Brace yourself up against like the BMD pole or something. Got to take your time. Yeah, he's a big one. Not that Lake Erie stuff we're used to. Is he still on there? I think so. Oh yeah, he's still there. Hoping there'll be bigger bites now. I don't think so, but you were right in the way of the shot. It's okay. <laughs> what do you think it is? It's a mahi mahi? Oh my god. Oh, he's being chased by a shark. Shit. Oh, babe. He's going under the boat. Oh, here he is, right here. He's being chased. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's on. Okay, get to the knife. Is he too small? Are we supposed to throw him back? We cooked up our delicious first fresh catch, and soon after, the wind died completely. We didn't need the Gulf Stream to carry us back north, so we motored in the dead calm and headed to Cape Fear, North Carolina, and anchored right before sunset. Our cut over back towards the west also helped us make our way south, as we knew it was going to be shifting to a more upwind passage. And the winds came back with a vengeance. Hey there, it's the end of our first day of our Bahamas passage from North Carolina to the Bahamas. We were originally going to take a little bit different route, but once uh, we looked at the weather, uh, we realized we'd be stuck in the Gulf Stream and then having to head upwind into this. So we decided to go over to North Carolina, uh, to basically get to the right side of this, kind of take our tack early with the motor and calm seas, so to speak. And now we are headed back out towards the Gulf Stream. I would call it southeast of Wilmington, North Carolina. And right now the conditions are blowing about 22 knots of breeze. Uh, we've seen some gusts to about 35. We're making about uh, eight knots um, with a true wind angle of about uh, 59 degrees. We'll show you Kate's coming up. I don't think Kate's feeling too hot. Get up here, Kate. So, unfortunately, a little buddy Kate over there is not feeling too well. We'll go say hi. Hi. Aww. It's gonna be okay. Okay. We love you. Love you too. Tell everyone how wonderful sailing is. Sailing is wonderful. Yep. Give you guys a little look around. 
Uh, so we've had a couple waves come up over the top of the Dodger even. Um, nothing too bad. These aren't huge, but they're just uh, pretty close together, a little choppy. Sailing is fun. Let's take a look at what we've been up to for the last day or all night. The cabin is a gigantic mess. It's mostly just hot weather gear that we have off. The nice part is we're wearing shorts. It's warm, finally. The bad part is, is that we went through the Gulf Stream in 30 knots of breeze, which is usually frowned upon, but uh, eh. so we had some choppy waves. It wasn't the most comfortable of nights, but we went pretty fast. It's still blowing 22 out of the north, and we're through the main section of the Gulf Stream, but now we're hopefully going to get to a little current eddy, but our, our models aren't necessarily lining up with what the Gulf Stream is really doing. The uh, Gulf Stream is actually south of, uh, let's call it southeast of where it actually is. We still have a 1.7 knot current uh, kind of against us. Kate's upstairs, Roxy's upstairs. Roxy ate dinner. That's good news. Kate is eating and drinking again after a rough night. We'll go upstairs and check it out. Check it out now. On the video. I've been feeling so small. I was just shooting my life jacket on and my heart is on right now. I totally forgot it. Had it on all night, I've been clipped in all night. Yeah, yeah, your Chico shirt on. It was the first shirt, literally. You feel like, oh, Gulf Stream all memories. The, all the shirts basically did like a tumble. So I reached in without opening the door very much and grabbed a shirt and a giant pile came out and then I grabbed the first one and it was this one. So we were meant to be. Oh my god, the boat is a mess. She going to? The boat is a mess. <laughs> it's covered in salt. Fun stuff. I think people, if anyone watches this video, they're going to get seasick from watching it because of the horizon just going <laughs> But the water's blue. Warm, sunny, with my two favorite people. Well, my favorite person and my favorite dog. Aww. I'm gonna slide back up here because I'm gonna play. Axie's chilling out. It's like. Yeah, she's calming down. She's happy she got her food and water. Let's see what we look like here. I'll put the camera back on you. Oh. Does it ever go away? So I've had it, felt it, and like I could even feel it a little bit on this trip. But I have only puked from it once. And that was when we were going upwind in the Gulf Stream. Waves bigger than this. And I ate that very questionable food and drank way too much the night before. But it does make my tummy, like, tummy feel weird. Autopilot's holding up like a champ. Look at him go back there. Are you ready to spend the big bucks on a NKE or B&G now? Or like some big bucks on Tramity. If you're, if you're watching this NKE or B&G, please sponsor us. So we can rip. We want to go fast. We want to go fast. <laughs> so last night, water was coming over the top of the Dodger. I mean, water and waves like we had I think two waves that went like literally from the side of the cockpit through the whole cockpit the cockpit was full of water like a bathtub like this area all down here look at these beautiful stars I want to drive a faster car 
I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna be myself. I'm gonna be someone else. I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Is that I'm right? I'm gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. Try not to hold me down. Feel the Till next time.